We're rolling. My name's Rob Snow at Fly Fishing Consultant. I have a podcast on iTunes. I have a YouTube channel. I'm a warm water fly fishing guide and instructor in Northern Virginia. I'm going to teach you how to tie one of my very simple few ingredient flies, the Bass Siren or Bass Umbrella. I've not decided on a name. It's got a curly tail. It's articulated. It has a steelhead intruder type body. And then it's going to have this kind of umbrella stuff in front. So what happens is you strip it, it pulses, you pause, it drops, the curly tail moves, then you pull it and this pulses back and forth. Very effective fly, super lightweight, very inexpensive to tie. What we're going to start off with is a straight eye streamer hook from Fly Shack. And then we're going to use a saber hook also from Fly Shack, size 2. And both of these 200 hooks together cost $12. At Fly Shack. They're sharp. They don't break when you have a fish. They're going to break in my vise in a moment. I'll show you that. I'm going to tie in Crystal Flash Chenille. Then I am going to add the second hook with a brass cone on it. I'm going to join the two together with Beetalon 0.015. I will tie in more Crystal Flash. Then Flat Diamond Braid. More Crystal Flash. And then a head of Northern Light. These are Northern Lights, and you can only get this at Fly Tires Dungeon. This should not take me too long, so let me get started. I'm going to be using right bobbin with 210 Denier Black. Can't really see the thread in this anyway. My scissors of choice are this. Got to mention the tail. This is an ultra suede tail that I'm going to tie in right here. Ultra suede is more durable than using rubber tails, and it's just going to last longer, be more durable. Crystal flash, chenille, and pink. You don't have to have a complex, complicated fly with 40 ingredients to catch a big fish. And I'm going pink and purple motif on this one. I'm now going to wrap this down. This alone right here will catch a fish. We are going to add a couple extra materials. Trim that, super sharp scissors. Two half hitches is all I need. Cut that. Now I'm going to break off the second hook. There's a reason I use a regal. So now there's no hook on this and it will just twist. Second hook, size two. Start your thread. Grab a short strand of wire. This is going to go down the opposite side of the hook from me. I'm now going to thread this through, and that straight hook now is going to stay straight behind here. And I will rotate my vise over and show you where and how I tie this in. This side is facing me. You can see the gap. So I'm going to go back now. I'm going to do a ball of Crystal Flash Chenille. I was tying intruders, and then I've always wanted to tie an intruder bass fly. Came up with this first, and then the Hula Girl second. Now, if you're using a right bobbin, it's going to get tangled when you're wrapping, so be careful. I'm going to tie that off. some flat diamond braid in. This is just going to give some color to the body without adding any bulk. So I don't have to worry about making this an expensive fly and I don't have to worry about it being too heavy to throw with a five or six weight. So I'm there now. Wrap that off. Doesn't have to look pretty because I'm going to add a little bit more crystal flash chenille about a quarter of an inch behind the cone. Wrap up to the cone. This is just going to help the northern lights stay in place. All right. I'm going to take the purple first. I'm going to go up to here. I'm going to grab a bunch. This stuff is not expensive. I'm going to just lay this down against my thread and pull it in. A couple of solid cranks. It's in there. I can spread it out. 
do that on the other side and then I'm going to trim it down. I don't want it to stick back further than the tail. Again, trim, bubble it over, slide it down, a couple of wraps. All right, this is the way to fix that. I'm so strong from rowing a boat all the time. Actually, I'm not. I've got like no muscles. Wah, wah. That's in there now. Spread those all out. Now we're going to take the over color, which is going to be the pink, just red. And again, we're going to tie this in. This is when you could take a hair clip, pull everything back, clip it down just to get it out of the way. Take that right behind the cone. Again, it takes a couple of wraps. I'm going to spread this color out. That's it. I'm going to knot this now. I am going to trim it. And then I'm going to vacuum the kitchen before my wife gets home from her pedicure. So that's what it looks like now. I'm going to take all this material, bring it forward. It looks like someone hanging upside down. All right, so we're going to take that big umbrella and I'm going to cut a chunk of it off. So that's what the body looks like. And now, you got a pretty cool looking fly. I would suggest you tie this up before summer's over. I will be fishing this tomorrow with clients. It is just a cool moving fly with not a lot in it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to me on iTunes. Subscribe to me on YouTube. Follow me on social media. I have lots of crazy looking flies and you can tie them in just a couple of minutes. Thanks for watching.